Hello everybody, so Brianna is doing her schoolwork. So what did you do this morning? Why now I'm doing math. Math? Yeah. Yeah, so she's been doing this every day. Start at what time do you wake up, Bria, every morning? Um, I usually wake up at um, 8.30 or 9. Yes, and what do you do first thing in the morning? Um, first I... Uh, first I wake up, go sour, comb my hair, brush my teeth, and start my homework. Yes, and then how many hours usually did you do your schoolwork in the day? Um, I usually I do like, um, I think, five hours. Yes, yeah, so what did you do? Um, what I do on the computer. What, yeah, what kind of subject did you do? I, um, first I go to math, language, art, science, then social studies. Uh -huh. So this month I'm kind of busy because I just noticed that the kids USA passport has a one year Balik Bayan visa stamp on it and it will expire this December 3, 2023. So if I don't get their Filipino passport and then we have to exit the country. So because in my understanding that they are, yes, they are already dual citizen by birth. But when we enter the Philippines, they automatic put the one year Balikbayan visa in their USA passport because they don't have Filipino passport. But I have the report of birth abroad. Right now that I'm going to apply their Filipino passport because I messaged the Houston, Texas officer and then they told me that yes, they are already dual citizen but I have to get the Filipino passport so that they have unlimited stay in the Philippines. So right now, I'm preparing for their documents to apply their Filipino passport here in Dumaguite. But to apply for the Filipino passport, I have to get their original report of birth abroad copy in PSA. So I got that this week also. It takes really quick. I order it online, I paid online, and then they get back to me and they they say that positive, they have everything, and I received their PSA report of birth in four days. Our marriage certificate report is still in microfilm. And I reported that since like 2010 and we paid for it but right now it's still in microfilm and they told me that it, it's processing right now and it can take to 15 days but we'll see because I'm going to apply our three of our Filipino passport this coming October so I need it so bad because if we don't apply for the Filipino passport for the kids and then they have to exit the country so we'll see so that's why i'm so busy right now preparing for application of the three of our filipino passport because we are dual citizen and the kids also by birth so we'll see so today i'm going to show you how to cook my squid adobo so here's my squid this is frozen i bought it in the hypermart in the frozen section and I'm gonna cut it like this, like calamari. And here's my ginger, onion, and garlic. And I'm gonna use soy sauce, oyster sauce, oil, vinegar, and a little bit of sugar, brown sugar. This is my kind of food for doing omad. So it's very good and healthy. So I cut it in a tiny pieces like this. I cooked this one time already and it's very very good. Especially with ginger on it. And John love it. So Brianna cannot eat it because she is so allergic with seafood. Seashell food. Right Brianna? Mm-hmm. 
Mm. This is so perfect in my Omad food. Alright, so it's ready to put the ginger, the garlic, and the onion. Mm -hmm. It's ready to put my squid. And go! Mm. Squid is one of my favorite dish. Okay, let's go add a little soy sauce, just a splash. A little bit vinegar. Okay. The sugar, just a tiny bit of sugar. There you go. And then, let's go mix, mix, mix. Okay, we're gonna cook the squid for like three minutes and we're gonna add the oyster sauce. Looking really good. So, I'm gonna add my oyster sauce. Mix, mix, mix. Wow. This is gonna be really yummy. And I'm gonna sprinkle just a tiny pinch of salt. All right. So another two minutes and our squid will be done. Okay, so here's my squid adobo for today. Mm. Where did you mm. bend? Yeah. Ooh. What a ride. <laughs> I always get exhilarated after a nice ride down to Dumaguete through all the wild traffic, the crazy people, the people driving the wrong way on the road towards me, <laughs> on the right side, on the left side, right at me. I have to be nimble, got to be defensive, and you got to be careful. Welcome to the Philippines, yeah! But you have fun, do you? I did have fun, yeah. And uh, I got some goodies, I got some good information from immigration, and I got some Good information from the LTO. Oh, good. I had a fun time. How about you? Did you guys do anything fun? I cook squid. Oh, good. Good. I got you. I got you some more dory fish, and I got. Uh, I went to. I went to both places, Robinson, and I went to Hypermart. So you got some more dory fish. I couldn't get any more of your squid. It's. Oh, no more squid. Not at the moment. There will be in a couple of days. They okay. always keep it repacked. I still have extra anyway. Yeah. So it was all good, I had a great day. To be honest with you guys, when I come back from these long rides in the city all over town and the scooter, uh, it's pretty intense, so it helps. At least I look forward to a nice cold beer. <laughs> I really do, and uh, whatever Maurice has on the stove. <laughs> well, perfect, because I got a Good looking squid over here. Let me try a bite of it, see how it is. A lot of ginger. Tell, tell the seasoning or did you? Yeah, already? I already did a video. Mm. That's good protein right there. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Very nice. All right. I'll have some later. Okay.